Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss concurrency of three lines. The three given lines are concurrent if they meet in a point. That is, they have a point of intersection to prove that the three given lines are concurrent, we follow the following steps. The first step is Solve the equations of two lines and find the coordinates of their point of intersection We show that these coordinates satisfy the third equation Let A1x plus B1Y plus C1 is equal to 0 and mark this equation as 1. A2X plus B2Y plus C2 is equal to 0 and mark this equation as 2. A3X plus B3Y plus C3 is equal to 0 and mark this equation as 3 B3 concurrent lines then the point of intersection of equation 1 and equation 2 must lie on the third That is, the point of intersection of equation 1 and equation 2 is B1C2 minus B2C1 upon A1B2 minus A2B1 C1A2 minus A1C2 whole upon A1B2 minus A2B1 and this point of intersection must lie on equation 3. Therefore, we have A3x that is B1C2 minus B2C1 whole upon A1B2 minus A2B1 plus B3 into Y that is C1A2 minus A1C2 whole upon A1B2 minus A2B1 plus C3 is equal to 0. On solving this equation, we get A3 into B1C2 minus B2C1 plus B3 into C1A2 minus A1C2 plus C3 into A1B2 minus A2B1 is equal to 0 which can be written in the determinant form as the determinant containing elements A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, 
C2, A3, B3, C3 is equal to 0 and this is the required condition for concurrency of three lines. Now we are going to discuss the test for concurrency of three straight lines. The three lines that is L1 which is equivalent to A1x plus B1y plus C1 is equal to 0. L2 which is equivalent to A2x plus B2y plus C2 is equal to 0 and L3 which is equivalent to A3x plus B3y plus C3 is equal to 0 are concurrent if it is possible to find three constants Lambda 1, Lambda 2, Lambda 3, other than 0, such that Lambda 1 into L1 plus Lambda 2 into L2 plus Lambda 3 into L3 is equal to 0 that is lambda 1 into L1 which is equivalent to A1x plus B1y plus C1 plus lambda 2 into L2 that is A2x plus B2y plus C2 plus lambda 3 into L3 which is equivalent to A3x plus B3y plus C3 is equal to 0. Now, let x1, y1 be the point of intersection of L1 and L2. Then A1 into X1 plus B1 into Y1 plus C1 is equal to 0 and mark this equation as 1 and A2 into X1 plus B2 into Y1 plus C2 is equal to 0 and mark this equation as 2 as we know that lambda 1 into L1 plus lambda 2 into L2 plus lambda 3 into L3 is equal to 0 is an identity therefore it is true for all values of X and Y And here it is true for x is equal to x1 and y is equal to y1. Therefore, the value of lambda 1 into a1x1 plus b1y1 plus c1 plus lambda 2 into a2x1 plus B2Y1 plus C2 plus lambda 3 into A3X1 plus B3Y1 plus C3 is equal to 0. 
from equation 1 and equation 2, we know that a1 x1 plus b1 y1 plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2 x1 plus b2 y1 plus c2 is equal to 0. Therefore, we have lambda 1 into 0 plus lambda 2 into 0 plus lambda 3 into a3 x1 plus b3 y1 plus c3 is equal to 0 that is lambda 3 into a3 x1 plus b3 y1 plus c3 is equal to 0 which implies that a3 x1 plus b3 y1 plus c3 is equal to 0 as it is given that lambda 3 cannot be 0 therefore a3 x plus b3 y plus c3 is equal to 0 also passes through the point x1 y1 Hence, the lines are concurrent Now we are going to learn about angular bisectors An angular bisector of two lines is defined as the locus of a point which is equidistant from the two lines Line L1 is given by A1x plus B1y plus C1 is equal to 0 and line L2 which is given by A2x plus B2y plus C2 is equal to 0 are equations of the two lines And if HK be any point on the bisector L1 and L2 are the two lines and point P with the coordinates HK is any point on the bisector then we have modulus of PQ is equal to modulus of PR where PQ is perpendicular to L1 and PR is perpendicular to L2 so we have modulus of PQ is equal to modulus of PR where PQ is the perpendicular distance of point P from line L1 And modulus of PQ is equal to modulus of A1H plus B1K plus C1 upon square root of A1 square plus B1 square. Similarly, PR is the perpendicular distance of point P from line L2.
and modulus of PR is given by modulus of A2H plus B2K plus C2 upon square root of A2 square plus B2 square. As we know, modulus of PQ is equal to modulus of PR. Therefore, we have modulus of A1H plus B1K plus C1 upon square root of A1 square plus B1 square is equal to modulus of A2H plus B2K plus C2 upon square root of A2 square plus B2 square. Therefore, locus of point P with coordinates HK is given by modulus of A1X plus B1Y plus C1 upon square root of A1 square plus B1 square is equal to modulus of A2X plus B2Y plus C2 upon square root of A2 square plus B2 square. Hence, the equations of the bisectors of the angle between lines L1 and L2 is given by A1x plus B1y plus C1 upon square root of A1 square plus B1 square is equal to plus minus of A2x plus B2y plus C2 upon square root of A2 square plus B2 square. On taking the positive sign, we get the equation of the bisector of acute angle between the lines. On taking the negative sign, we get the equation of the bisector of the obtuse angle. Two bisectors can be distinguished with respect to the origin as follows. First is, make the constant terms positive. In the equations of the given lines, Next we have the equation obtained on taking the positive sign will be the equation of the bisector B1 that bisects the angle in which the origin lies bisector B1 bisects the angle in which the origin lies the equation obtained on taking negative sign will be the equation of the bisector B2 
that bisects the angle in which the origin does not lie by sector B2 bisects the angle in which the origin does not lie. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.